The attorney general tells me he's looking for clarification about some of the language in the bill. He says one of the conditions of the bill is that if states receive funding, they can't cut taxes until 2024, which puts the state in a bad situation. 21 attorneys general signing off on a letter to Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen this week asking her to clarify language in the latest federal stimulus package. They say in part the language could be read to deny states the ability to cut taxes in any manner whatsoever. The bill prohibits states that receive COVID relief money from cutting taxes until 2024 and if states fail to do this they'd be required to repay the Department of Treasury the amount equal to the tax cut. Federal monies that are, are being deployed uh, ought not to come with strings attached, particularly when this is designed to help the country deal with pandemic. Oklahoma's Attorney General Mike Hunter says as it reads now, it's unconstitutional. I mean, that's just concerning. And and it's as far as we're concerned, this is a clear invasion of uh, state sovereignty. I'm not opposed to the policy. I'm, I'm not opposed to the uh, payments that a lot of folks are looking forward to, um, but you, you, you can't put a straitjacket on states with respect to decisions about state revenue that is, is clearly um, protected by, as far as I'm concerned, the 10th Amendment. Hunter says there's legislation in the works at the state level that would provide tax relief to Oklahomans, but because of the stimulus bill, the state could be penalized for it and would have to write a check to the federal government. Hunter says they want to confirm the bill only stops states from using federal money to reduce taxes, but does not stop them from cutting taxes in other ways. Paris Jones, KOCO, 5 News.